Welcome back and joining us now to answer your pet questions, Dr. Emily Rieger, sitting in for uh, Dr. Kim Hammond this morning. And our special guest, I said it was a miniature collie, but there's, it's actually a more distinct breed than that. That's right. It's a Shetland Sheepdog or a Sheltie, as a lot a of Sheltie, people call okay. them. Um, but they're similar to collies. They are a herding breed. Um, this here is Dylan, who is actually a, a rescue. Uh -huh. um, is Dylan full grown? He is, yep. He this is, is it. This is all this we get. Is, yep, this is as big as he's going to get. Puppy face forever. <laughs> a personality much like, say, a, a, a collie or something like that? Um, they actually tend to be a lot more laid back than, oh, really? than collies. Yeah, they do uh, tend to herd children sometimes and other mm -hmm. animals if they're in a group. But, so they like uh, to play? They do, yes. Yeah. They're, they're really wonderful dogs. Okay, a couple questions here. Um, uh, we have a long-haired chihuahua that's shedding fur and has a lot of dandruff or flaky skin. Mm. We have read that you can use baby lotion on them to help the condition. Is this recommended? I actually wouldn't recommend that. Um, human skin and dog skin is very different. There's a different pH balance to it. And so using human um, shampoos and lotions can actually cause more trouble, you know, give greasy skin and even um, give them a, a dermatitis or an infection that, that they'll, you know, have a reaction to the um, lotion. So, so are I, there grooming dog grooming products? What I would recommend like for that? that would be to try adding um, some omega-3 fatty acids or fish oil to the food. Mm -hmm. um, just add a little fish oil to, to the food every night or every morning, and uh, you'll be amazed at the difference that'll make in their skin. Really? So mm -hmm. instead of trying to do a topical, exactly, you, you, you do it through the diet. Change their diet. Yep. Oh, okay. Yep. Give it a shot. See what happens. <laughs> All right. On to cats. I have a cat who's 13 years old who's been an indoor-outdoor cat his entire life. I recently moved to a new home, and I'm afraid to let him out for fear he'd get lost. Should I keep him in or allow him outside and hope he'll find his way back? I would definitely keep him in. You know, the uh, cats can be very smart, but they can also be very skittish. And so if they're not used to traffic patterns or the neighbor's dog, you know, they can very easily become frightened and just start running, you know, straight into the street. So, and this is an older cat, too. Yeah, so I would say so. definitely, you know, if you can keep him inside, keep him inside. Okay. I guess we're out of time. Okay. We've gotten well, a few questions fun. and talked about... Uh, yep. A, Dylan. A, a, Dylan. A, a beautiful, beautiful dog. And yes. a rescue at that. That's right. Goes to prove rescues are well worth it. Absolutely. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much.